Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel, I'm P from Duck Online Progress and with the Christmas period approaching, I want to talk to you about the movie editing software, the mini tool Movie Maker 5.2, an easy to use and really an amazing tool even for beginners, so everyone can make a memory video in just a few minutes. So big thanks to Mini Tool for sponsoring this video and giving to all of us the chance to test the great software. On the official website, you'll find the first presentation of all the features of this software and of course the tab for the free download. As you see, Movie Maker is compatible with Windows 11 but also with previous editions. The company promotes the software as the best choice for beginners because of the rich features and the intuitive interface. Both aspects are very important for people who want to create good content but are not very confident with complicated video editors. So the fact that Movie Maker 5.2 simplifies the whole editing process is actually inspiring to most creators because it results so easy to make amazing videos of all kinds in standard or HD quality without watermark. And we must not forget that Minitool updates frequently the software, so offers very often many new resources in line with threads. Those are mainly the reasons that this software gets so many good reviews. On the website, you'll also find different kinds of tips on video editing. Ok, without any further delay, let's test this software together. After you download it, you need to install it by double-clicking on it. When the install is completed, you'll see an interface with different choices. By clicking on New Project, you're ready to create a new video. This is the main screen with all the features. As you may see, it is a very user-friendly interface and the first thing you need to do is to import your video. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use a clip from one of our Study With Me videos that you can find in our channel. In order to start editing, you need to drag and drop the video in your main workspace. At the right, you will notice a preview player of the clip imported and not only, as here, you will also check all the changes you've made to this video. Doing the exactly same process, you may add as many clips as you want. On the right top corner, you'll find the Templates tab where you will explore the different kinds of themes that this software offers to creators as a framework. So, if you don't know what to do and you don't have time to watch this tutorial, you will just add one of these templates to your video and in a few minutes Movie Maker 5.2 will generate an awesome video saving you time and energy. By double-clicking on your clip and selecting Edit, you will enter in your video settings, visible at the top right corner of your screen. Here you can make all kinds of the adjustments you need about basic settings such as contrast, saturation, brightness, speed of your video. If you change your mind and want to get back on the original settings, you just need to press Reset. Another easy way to adjust the speed of your video is by dragging the right edge of the clip. To undo your last action, just press the undo button. When you have more than one clip to edit, it's important to improve the flow of your video by adding transitions. So, by clicking on Transitions tab, you'll find so many different options. Let's check together some of them. When you find one you like, press on the plus tab or just drag and drop the transition between the two videos. At the right of the preview player will appear the settings of your transition where you can change the duration and the mode. You can choose to place the transition to the beginning or end of a clip or image as also keep it between the two videos. If you are not satisfied with the video quality of your clip, you can press on the effects tab and choose one of the many options. You'll definitely be impressed with the result as your video will seem much more vivid and impactful. Yay! 
you add an effect with the exact same way you add the transition. And you always can adjust the video's properties in the settings window at the right of the preview player. And don't worry, if you don't like the effect you tried, just press on the undo button and try another one. If you need to add to your movie subtitles, comments, an intro or end credits, you need to press on Text tab. Choose what you need from the three main lists called Captions, Credits and Title. Then drag and drop it in your timeline at the beginning or at the end or above the video depends on the template you want to add. I choose a template from the end credits list. Remember that you can always change the text font, color and size. Let's add an intro too. Okay, now let's add a comment. As you see, you only need to drag and drop the theme you chose above your clip and make the necessary adjustments. If you create the video using still images or a more static footage, you can add motion to your movie by choosing one of the different effects that you can find by clicking on the Motion tab. You only have to drag and drop it on your clip. I chose to try the Zoom in bottom option. Let's check the result. Remember, you can always change the effects properties in the Ended window. When you make a video with Movie Maker 5.2, your creativity has no limits, because by clicking on the Elements tab, you'll find a lot of useful, cool and funny animations.
To add an element, you drag and drop it above your clip and make all the necessary adjustments. If your video has a background voice but you want to eliminate it, you can easily mute it and then replace it with another audio file imported or with a music file you find by clicking Media and Music tabs. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. You can add the music file below your clip and do all the changes. In the edit window, you can adjust the volume and select fade in or out. Remember, you can also import pictures, so you can add to your video so many elements. When you're ready and you're satisfied with the result, you just have to press export. With Minitool Movie Maker, you have the possibility to create content for PC and devices like iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Xbox and many others. After you select the type of the format, the output file, a name for your movie, you may also choose the video's resolution. Most of the times, I select the best resolution as I want to obtain the best possible quality. At the end, you press export and in a few minutes your video will be ready. The time needed for the conversion depends on several factors, like the size of your clips and the performance of your PC, but generally this video editor works fast. Overall, the Mini Tool Movie Maker 5.2 is an amazing video editor especially for people who feel overwhelmed by complicated softwares. The user-friendly interface, the many features available and the free watermark exported video make this software an excellent choice for any creator. Again, many thanks to Minitool and to Evelyn for sponsoring this tutorial and big thanks to you guys for watching this video. Remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, we really appreciate your support. Until next time, bye!